Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, this is season two, and we are so excited to be doing this once again. So thank you for joining us. And today we're going to cover uh, a topic that we, we're all very passionate about, traditional uh, schooling versus uh, homeschooling. And I'm going to begin uh, with a little <laughs> something I wrote down. So does the yellow school bus take the children down the road to a constructive, positive learning environment, or does it curb the children's creativity? Should we keep our children at home and teach them ourselves? Ladies, what do you think? I think first we have to think about like what are the forms of education, traditional versus non-traditional. Traditional education is where we have children in a classroom setting, about like 30 kids with mm -hmm. a teacher. That's traditional yeah. for you, pretty much. Um, classroom setting, teacher who is supposed to know what they're doing. A trained teacher. A trained trained teacher. teacher. Yes. Uh, and pretty much, I guess, what, 30 minutes? I don't know how long is school, how long is the class, <laughs> an hour? Could go for an hour, 30 minutes, 30 it just minutes, depends. Yeah. So that's that. And then the non-traditional would be the homeschooling. One-on-one mm -hmm. -on -one setting with, chances are your parents, your mm -hmm. dad or mom, or both. Mm -hmm. You know, one-on-one -on -one with the child. And then they take it upon themselves to learn the curriculum. So, so that's the, we can also, when we start talking about homeschooling, mm -hmm. what, are the, what are the pros and cons when it comes to homeschooling? My big one? lack of diversity okay they see don't, they don't get to meet people from other cultures they don't get to hear other people's opinions whether it's teachers or their own peers they're stuck there listening to their mom who will probably give them their own you know their, just the one thing mm -hmm. they know from their past and their experiences that's one of the, the, the one of the biggest cons in my opinion that's true um i i think that's then the parents have to stay home from work, which is the other thing. I personally, uh, when I have kids, I would love to homeschool my kids, but up to a certain age, mm -hmm. because I don't think that, like you said, there's a social issue. They don't get to, to socialize with other kids. Mm -hmm. However, nowadays with homeschooling, there's so many organizations like Mocha Moms, they have organizations where they bring the kids together to, you know, to, to socialize. You learn, you know, uh, go sit with Bobby or whatever that you do in mm -hmm. class. Mm -hmm. I think that's pretty important. I, I can give an example. I have a friend who actually homeschooled her child, and the reason why she put she pulled her son out of school was because of bullying. Constant what what bullying. age are we talking about? Um, he's eight years old. Okay. You know, okay. that's mm -hmm. the age whereby you know they now figure out who you are. You know, right. the, the culture differences. Mm -hmm. You know, but for him, she didn't give me the particular reason why she pulled. Him. She said it was bullying, but yeah. didn't get into specifics. But um, she thinks. She says one of the things that she feels that her son misses out is like, you know, soccer. Like, you know, because when you are in, in a home school, when you're homeschooled, mm -hmm. um, the, the, the high schools or the schools will not invite you, you invite oh, your to son play to play soccer. To play soccer. You have to be enrolled in the school. Yeah. So you have, sometimes the parents have to now create these teams. Like they have clubs, yeah. outside right. clubs yeah. for, for the kids to join. But you know, sometimes it's, it's that situation whereby the son is like, oh, I wish I could go back to school because yeah. he felt that he was missing out, but... He was taken out of school. So yeah. I think that's the harder thing. Mm -hmm. But if you start the when they're, they're really mm -hmm. young, it helps them. But I think it'll be... I, I want to say it will be hard for them to go back into a traditional setting of school right, because you right. you you have set boundaries and discipline. Mm -hmm. Not saying that you don't have discipline in home, during right, homeschool, right. but you have... Like, I can wake up like... If I had a child, I'm like, okay, we're not waking up at 6 o'clock oh, in the morning. We're sleeping in today, we're honey. Sleeping in. School we're starts up at 10 o'clock. But then with homeschool, you still have to have your number of hours. Like you each do. state has set rules for, mm -hmm. for parents. You have to have um, some, some states have certain regulations where the, the teachers, I mean the, the parents, have to have certificates. Yeah. So yeah. that's so, going to be. Yeah. Speaking of um, like the, the home setting, this is the same mother who has to cook, clean, do the dishes. Cause manage but the you, house. Yes, manage the house. It gets tricky. You do that on a regular. You, your child comes home. You have to do homework anyway. No, no, no that, that is true. No, okay, well, yeah, I guess. And some of them want to run their own businesses, though. Like, they're trying to juggle all these things. Because, oh. yes, one of the articles I read was like, oh, well, you know, we just make it like shopping. It's part of the, you know, we'll all go to the store together, I guess. And time, management. And time management. Time management. Yeah, exactly. That's, yeah. I think that's the, the, the big thing. It's just time management. You, you have a set schedule. And that was one of the questions we had. Does it take away from, um, what were you saying earlier? What? The, the uh, scheduling. Was it? Oh, like you mean um, they're teaching the child about timekeeping 
skills, I guess, qualities or whatever. You know, when, yeah. when you look at homeschooling, like if you if you watch the shows like Wife Swap, right? Good example. Mm -hmm. You have uh, parents yeah, that the, you know you have one member, maybe it could be the husband, who could be the one staying at mm -hmm. home, mm -hmm. and then you have the wife who who's now the, the breadwinner, the breadwinner, oh. bringing income. Yeah. You know, they, they've made that sacrifice. So you'll see that they do have. A timetable like mm -hmm. at eight o'clock this is what the schedule is and they also have their chores to do I mean it's quite interesting it, it, again it's time management how you manage your time right you know it could be a headache because you know you might have also a one-year-old there mm -hmm. or a six-month-old baby but again time Just management, time management. And uh, it's, it's, a lot of I feel like it's a lot it's tough it's, it's a tough. lot but you're, you're investing lot. in your child mm -hmm. you're really investing in your child yeah. you take this child into school yes. and you the child comes back complaining, Mommy, we didn't learn this. Or what did you learn? Nothing. Mm -hmm. You put okay, your would you, would you into... Why they learn nothing? The point, don't you trust your teachers? And some schools are good. Yeah, some, some are educated. But then some schools, I mean, look at this, some of the schools here. The good children, the good yeah. children are put into like the best schools. Yeah. And then you leave the, the ones who are struggling mm -hmm. in the lowest you know, system schools. And that's bad. Yeah. All children need an education and they should all, I think with homeschooling, you invest a whole lot into your child. Mm -hmm. You're able to notice their weak points and, their, and you build up on their strengths. Mm -hmm. That's true. Actually, mm -hmm. let me confess something. Oh my God, like my math. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was like what, Form 1? Is mm -hmm. that Form 1? Mr. Kanji, bless his heart. He, um, I was one of the weak ones, I guess. I would need, you know, the, the whole thing explained to me when it gets to like your algebras and stuff. I would need maybe like, I don't know, maybe the fourth example for me to get it. Mm -hmm. Right. You know? mm -hmm. Oh, no, 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 no. Then we had now, you know, I went to meet school. We had the Indians and some, some really smart people, really cool people. And they were quick at catching on to the, to the math, you know, the, the, they were probably mm -hmm. doing like form four math and we're doing the form one math, you know. Oh, like yeah. Form one. So he would, for some reason, and I think he was fascinated and liked them better, I guess. I feel like oh, I, I used to get punished. I used to have to go like, you know, <laughs> if possible, like, you'll sit down, you know, you, like, you stand up, I guess you ask questions. Of course, right. I won't get it. I'm not that quick with the math. Right. I'll end up like in a corner somewhere, you know, having to do like my homework again or, oh my God, read all over my... So I, I, can, I can agree with the fact that, yeah, he's, he was trained to teach and of course he, he maybe tried to give me enough attention, but mm -hmm. uh, I don't know, with that kind Did of thing, I would say... Did you ask for it? Did you yes. ask for help? Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. I guess to a point you're like, you know what, moving on. Let me I'm not good at my, this. <laughs> on my, yeah, I was good at my arts, my languages, I could write. I just kind of picked on that and went yeah, on. And I, I Somehow I that. graduated high school, thank hallelujah. <laughs> but, you know, it was tough. It I was agree tough with you because, you know, I remember also in school, math, yeah, that was a challenge. <laughs> but the thing is, I did get it in class. But for me to maintain what I've learned, mm -hmm. is, you know, you had to do your homework or, you know, just go through revisions but then when it came to the exam i'm like oh gosh i forgot what this is you know right it's, and i guess it's also you're not pushed you're not encouraged a, a maybe it's lack of one-on-one -on -one. you know you don't have that one-on-one -on -one also yeah. i don't know i mean did you we had okay yeah and i needed a shoot i guess we that. were not I good at math <laughs> no, no, <laughs> so good at math because they had two streams that like like the brighter clever yeah, students yeah. there was math a and math b yeah. i was in b <laughs> I, I, no algebra and i love stats stats yeah. brilliant mm -hmm. i can do that but everything else, x plus y minus z, and what? Yeah, I don't know. Do we stuff. use that stuff? I mean, it's honestly, college algebra is when I came to understand. I'm like, oh my but gosh, do we really use that? Finally understood. Do we use our education in our careers now, uh, or in life in general? Like what we've I learned, guess, well, and having gone through high school. College. You remember? Okay, high school. Some of the things I can't remember, but like geography. I think the subjects that you love, you remember things like geography, mountains, and clouds, cumulonimbus. Yes. Nimbus. Yes. <laughs> You remember that, yeah. and you can apply it when you're in a conversation. Mm -hmm, yeah. But as far as uh, college, some of the oh, some of the okay. Now I don't know what happened. Okay, you you guys did the British system. Do you yeah. see? Oh yes. yes. Okay, I did Kenya certificate of secondary education. <laughs> so what well, what we learned in form one really applied in form four. So we had stacks and stacks. Like had to remember it. You had to remember everything. So I remember like, you know, during the final, even pro producer will even know that. Yeah, he, he will sympathize. Yes, yes. <laughs> so, so like you crumb so much, like you had to remember so much that uh, during the exam, I'm thinking, okay, I read this. But, oh my gosh, maybe mm -hmm. I forgot it. But mm -hmm. you know, we are taught how to just, you have to retain Cram, all that information. Yeah. Yet you don't know how to apply it. Yeah. And that's, I think, is a big difference. That's a, that's a big difference. So, so when you come ahead. to college here, some of the things like chemistry and bio is like, man, because I, I like bio. I, yeah. know, I was in a part of chemistry. But you're like, oh, yeah, I really appreciate this because, you know, I did learn a lot in high school. Yeah. 
but um, sometimes the stress it wasn't worth it. It like wasn't we, worth it. We come here well, to America, we, we breathe. Like, college level is not that tough. It, it's not. It's not. Having learned it's not. what we've learned. Even with the British system. Yeah. Although it wasn't that, we didn't do the whole, what you learned in Form 1 is what you're going to put. No, we didn't do that. We had to just, like, once you're done with Form 1, you're done. And then we learned yeah. a lot of, like, the British history. I guess that's the whole... And see, that's, yeah. the, that's the problem with homeschooling. Mm -hmm. I, I would love my child to know more about my history, yeah. his, you know, his ethnic roots and, and whatnot. But with, yeah, we learned more about British history and like, what do I like need about? Like here now we're doing American, <laughs> so we're as American, American parent, system. So as a parent, you also take the time, you know, they're in a public school, yes. you have to take the time also to teach them their history. Because honestly, exactly. my, that's the my mom will teach us between. about history and also tell us, you know, like the queer stories, queer folk stories and folk songs. We, we, she'll tell us that. So even as a parent, even though your, your kids are at school, also take the time to tell them stories, you know, traditional stories and all that. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's, that's I think it's, it's, no? well, First of all, I don't homeschool my kid. I, I don't have that patience. I am not. I'm sorry. <laughs> Nobody. <laughs> I no, think it takes know. away. I will, real. After school, we can, you know, like she said, I think incorporate some of what you want them to learn. Mm -hmm. But I like the structure. I like, man, you get up at 5 a.m. You get up at 5 a.m.? I used to get up at 5 a.m. I know. Yeah, I know. I used to because my dad oh, would okay. work early. So, yeah. you know, I like boarding school. It kind of sticks. That discipline, I don't think I could have learned that at home. Well, it depends. You, I think you have to have the drive to do it. And if you don't want to, like mm -hmm. I would, uh, hopefully I'll have a rich husband. Or <laughs> oh, whatever. Or, you know, but I would love, I really would love, but to a certain age. I don't yeah. think past um, like eight, I think that child needs to go into a formal setting mm -hmm. of education. Okay. Because between, well, let me, let me, between let me three to you. five, hold on, let me, I'm going to lose my train okay. of thought. Okay. Between <laughs> three to five. Yeah. That's when the child soaks in so much information and so much knowledge. Mm -hmm. So if you can pour that into a child, when they get into that world, they're ready. Like, boom. Okay, teacher, yes. Mm -hmm. I'm, okay. I, I'm, I'm good with this. Okay. Your niece and nephew. Mm -hmm. Spend, like, I don't know, you spend a whole day with them? They're not my children. That's another See, story. Yeah. <laughs> we all no. have nieces and nephews. Yeah, none of us have kids. But we've got the, the little ones. And, I, I mean, they listen. But I can't imagine a whole 24 hours, or, or okay, let's just say the eight hours. I, I, I make it where I'm waking up in the morning and... We'll do the breakfast, and then I sit them down to. St st but you're starting from square one. You're starting when they're they're a child, so you're ingrained. You're you're your they're your, ingrained. Your, your, your nephew is too. Okay, I don't live with him. That's, <laughs> the, that's the, the best part. What, what would you do? <laughs> I would if I if I, I would start it off when he's young. Yeah, I would, because I want my child to learn more and just to, to soak in all that, like what I didn't learn, or if he's good, I'll be able to notice. Because if you're in 30, imagine, you're 30, 30 yeah. people in a class. Let's say you're good, you're so good at a certain subject. Yeah. The teacher's not gonna notice that. You're like, okay, all of you, let's finish. Did you finish? Did you pass? Okay, mm -hmm. good. Mm -hmm. A note, your child needs to do better in this. But I'm taking the time, okay, you need to really study this history yeah. on this particular subject. And that requires a lot of patience. And patience. It has you know, patience. It, uh, That's why it's a certain age, mm -hmm. after a certain age. So is I this past where eight? creativity is being curbed? <clears throat> with the regular system, with the public schools. With, it's curbing some of the creativity oh. and passions and stuff. Yes. Look at, okay, I have an example. I think now I look at my, my artwork and I think it's the ugliest thing I ever did. But back when I was a child, we did a pap paper mache project and I did what now I'm like, I don't know what it looks like, but it was a man playing basketball with a dog. And we oh, had- It didn't look like that. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my mother tells me now, I'm like, I have no idea what it is, but we had to keep it. But there was creativity in it, and whatever thing or sculpture I made that looked like a man, that was my interpretation of a man. Oh, yeah. And nowadays, I think you're told, draw in this Within square, the, uh, color in the circle. What if I don't want to color in that circle? What if there's something more that I can express? Well, we, 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 color, we color in the circle so it looks neat. That's why we're told not See, to color. See, but that's color. curving. <laughs> that's <laughs> curving. That's curving. That's curving. That's curving. Right I, I, I think it's, you know, it looks neater when it's in, you know. <laughs> Not outside the lines, but again, it's art. It's art. Yeah. It's subjective. <laughs> it's subjective. Yeah. Hmm. But Do you, go ahead. But you know, um, when you talk about art, because you know, coming from Kenya Certificate of Secondary <laughs> Education and Bring Primary Education, back. you know, they had us, and it's not a bad thing. You know, mm -hmm. we did like in you know, home science, which you call home ec, home ec over here. Yeah. Right. We made. Um, I remember we we knitted a scarf. Mm -hmm. um, we made a we embroidered like a tablecloth i mean it was good but you know half of the times i remember we really didn't do all that ourselves Not oh somebody confess. else <laughs> can we you have, need something right now yeah us? i can i can really? eat i can sew. see this those are the classes so we, 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 we avoided that we yeah. avoided that we didn't get that we didn't, oh, we didn't oh, get no, that no, no. You, guys, you know gc yeah. british system yeah you no. guys avoided that i mean it's, it's good and i don't i don't i honestly i don't think i missed anything 
I'm very artistic. I, I don't Can you like sew that. on it? No, no she <laughs> cannot. <laughs> yes, if I have to sew on a button or something, I'm sure I can just. See, okay, see, that was something that your mother so taught you. you. can do the back stitch and, you know... No, I can no, only do a back stitch. Stitches. What am I doing a back yeah. stitch for? Unless I want to be a tailor. Yeah, when you, you, no, you don't need to be a tailor. When you want to sew something that's very yeah. easy. I can uh, up on my mama. Oh, a tailor. Mama. Mama. <laughs> tailor. Mama is busy. Uh, so do you tired, think yeah. homeschooling would work back in Africa? I don't know, dude. Uh. It's hard enough to get people who are supposed to be in school <laughs> to stay in school. I mean, the system is a little, you know, it's young and... Mm-hmm. No, I, I, I honestly, no. It, it's, it, that's, that's. It's tough because we're talking about it's a develop. We're developing. That's, I'm just thinking about like my own country. We're a developing nation. Right. We don't have the system in place to kind of make sure that, first of all, the person who has this child is, I guess, actually, educated enough mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. to actually be able to educate their own child. So you know, there's a lot of other things you're gonna be looking at. Also, finances. You know, not that's everybody true. can that's afford true. It's expensive. to stay at home and make sure. I mean, it would be good, like you know, they don't have to worry about tuition or school fees. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But um, you're looking at books, supplies, supplies. It still adds up. It still adds up. The paper money. Sure. <laughs> you know, with the constant blackouts. You oh my know. God. <laughs> yeah, like you have to wake up at six o'clock in the morning <laughs> to and get it done. No, I, I know. But it's amazing. It's uh, homeschooling is actually growing at a rate of five to twelve percent annually, mm. and about which is pretty cool. About fifteen percent of in Africa. Okay, no, this is here. In oh, okay, I was gonna <laughs> say <laughs> this is here. Back, I'm like I haven't, I haven't heard of that back there. Okay, yeah. Yeah, that would be the day. Mm-hmm. But about two million people in grades K to twelve were homeschooled in two thousand seven and two thousand eight, and of that, fifteen percent were non-whites. So that's amazing. Oh wow. Okay, that's good. That's amazing. That is good. I, I read something about, um, you know, we'll talk about the creativity stuff. Mm-hmm. It can't necessarily be true either because you haven't seen like any of the, I guess, I don't know, winners of like this Nobel Quiz Prize. Anybody who's thought outside the box, they've all gone through traditional schooling. Like there's no stats But they out dropped there out. Say some of them dropped out. That's true. Some did, but at least so, they did to a certain extent. Some did. So that means, that means that formal education or traditional education sometimes can curb you so, creativity. But then if you look at people in the creative arts side, like mm-hmm. in the creative fields, so to speak, mm-hmm. you'll find more of them, twice the number, of t- more of them have college degrees. They do? They do. Some of them don't. I beg to differ, though. Well, it depends but on, if I you guess, think what of stats. Steve, Steve Jobs. Steve, Steve yeah. Jobs Steve dropped out. He, so did uh, what, Facebook uh, guy? Uh, did he? I don't know. Zuckerberg? Uh, yeah, did he? From, he dropped out from Harvard. And all these people. But who, well, that, at least they see. have. But that was like later in life. Artists, artists don't like. Why am I in school if I'm going to art? It's it's all in you. No, but you still maybe need to learn how to use the equipment and stuff. It's not like you just want to go and pick up. Yeah, you photography. Can. No, with art, I paint. I do paint, mm-hmm. and I just go get the colors. I said I'll be like, okay, let me try with the watercolors. Mm-hmm. You know, get the canvas. Okay, try a lot of trial and error, but. Would I, would, I, would I lose anything if I took a class? No, I wouldn't. You definitely learn more. I'm not, I, I definitely agree with that. Just like it just, me it with just, photography. It, it, you know, the classes and ha- photography, if you take a, a photography If I take a class, class it will enhance it. Exactly. Learn, so, right. you know, the tricks to it, you know, the different, I don't know, But you get to mechanisms pick and choose your, it. whatever classes that you want. Yeah. Instead of learning English lit where you want to be a, a musician. And then also consider, you know, that people who are extremely talented. Extremely just naturally, talented, just naturally yeah. gifted, right? You know. Not all our children will be though. So. Hey, no, <laughs> hey, don't say that. Don't say that. Okay, Miss, who wants to homeschool a yes. child? Mm-hmm. Okay, when you're done, when they graduated high school, okay, mm-hmm. fine. Number one, they'll miss the whole graduation ceremony. How are you gonna do that? Two, okay. when they finally pick a college, they're accepted in college, mm-hmm. and you know, college is where now. This is now the real life experience because I remember one time, one my high school teacher said. Guys, high school is the best time of your life. So we're like, yeah, whatever. Now college, college is the real yeah. stuff. Okay, they'll be introduced to drugs, sex, alcohol. You know, you know, um, hate. Mm-hmm. How how are you gonna? Because they're not used to that. Because they were sheltered, sheltered at home, protected, hugged. You know, hugged and kissed all the True. time. But now when they're True. out in college, how are you gonna? When they come back and say, "Mama, I just can't do this." And um, I want to say. Firstly, that. you just said like when. Um, when you said, oh, going back to our previous conversations, like, oh, I can teach them at between six, and, between six and eight, I can tell them stories about how we grew up. Mm-hmm. That's the same thing. I'm instilling a, a sense of pride in, I'm building a, a solid foundation mm-hmm. so that when they go out into the real world, they'll be like, oh, no, you can't tell me this, or mm-hmm. 
I've dealt with hate. This is what hate is. I will explain to them this is what hate is. Plus, if I'm homeschooling my child, mm -hmm. I will tell they will. I don't. I don't want. To, it, I don't want it just to just be me and my child. Hopefully, I'll find a community of yeah. people who are homeschooling. Mm -hmm. That way, you get to learn what hate is. You get to learn what sharing is, jealousy, and all that. Yeah. So that way, it fosters growth okay, and I, building. I see what and you're saying. Uh -huh, cool. I told you. It's, it's past a certain age. At a certain age, I'm like, I can't do this no more. <laughs> see, but you are, yeah, and I think that's one thing we should clarify in the beginning. You're talking about maybe like when they're From young to maybe eight. Eight. But then there are those who find a home first, school. First, to, first grade to what? Yeah. I don't know Third, what that fourth, is. Yeah, maybe something. fourth, but then they're yeah. four. And, so you are, yeah, and maybe you are referring more to the, the ones people who home school all the way. Yeah, because yeah, the, the people home school all the way. Yeah. Yeah. That's a lot of work. Mm -hmm. that is, that's, that's investing. I think you have to have the finances to do that, firstly, because those are X amount of years. The know how. It's a lot of work. Obviously, they have planned this all. Through, through just exactly yeah, that's true. So. okay so whatever you decide to do whether it's gonna be um, homeschooling or the traditional you know school structure uh, do what's best for your child and what's best for you you know don't take on more than you can handle or vice versa but I, I personally I am <laughs> not going to be homeschooling anybody in the, in the evenings yes I will that's my take on that and we'd like to know your thoughts and opinions and comments does education kill creativity and also, you know, earlier we did talk about homeschooling in Africa. Do you think, or has anybody homeschooled their child back home? Kenya, Africa, in general. Yeah. We'd like to hear your comments. Post them on Respond, Facebook. Respond, post right. them on Facebook. Can that work? Yep, and we're on YouTube as well, so feel free to post comments. We, have, we take all kinds of comments. <laughs> and uh, we're on Twitter as well, at Zetu Show. So just find us, Google us up. You know, we're, we're there. there. <laughs> <laughs>